मजबूर कर अब मुझे बताइए कि कितने लोग इस चीज को लेकर अग्री है कि बाय बर्थ लड़कियां कमजोर होती हैं और लड़के स्ट्रॉन्ग होते हैं मैं मानता हूं कि यहां संख्या काफी कम है ठीक है तो घबराने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है अपने विचार हमको रखने हैं फिलहाल मावा मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी के दस कॉलेज के साथ एक्सटेंसिवली काम कर रहा है और हम लोग हर कॉलेज में तीन से चार वर्कशॉप्स देते हैं जिसमें व्हाट इज़ द जेंडर जेंडर सोशली कंस्ट्रक्टेड है या नेचुरली कंस्ट्रक्टेड है जब हम लोग उनके साथ एक्टिविटीज़ लेते हैं कि आपके घर में कामों का बंटवारा कैसा होता है तो सबसे पहले घर में कौन उठता है तो वो माँ उठती है सबसे आखिरी में कौन सोती है तो माँ सोती है पिताजी क्या करते हैं तो बाहर जाकर कमाते हैं तो ये जो सारी चीज़ें उनको मालूम है बट जब वो जेंडर लेंस के साथ देखना शुरू करते हैं और उनको जब मालूम होता है कि यहाँ पर तो काफ़ी बड़ा डिस्क्रिमिनेशन है तो लड़के फिर बोलना शुरू करते हैं कि हाँ मतलब आज के बाद मैं जब रेलवे स्टेशन पे जाऊँगा या फिर मैं कॉलेज में रहूँगा मैं किसी भी लड़की को लड़के को या फिर किसी ट्रांसजेंडर को कभी छेड़ूंगा नहीं कभी उनको टॉन्ट नहीं मारूंगा मैं हर किसी के जेंडर आइडेंटिटी की रिस्पेक्ट करूँगा तो ये सारे बदलाव धीरे 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 हमको देखने मिलते हैं जैसे हमारे पास एक एग्जाम्पल है रोहित का रोहित जो पहले साल हमारे साथ जो आया था तो वही हेट्रोसिस काइंड ऑफ मेल पर्सन था जो हाँ लड़कियों को छेड़ना तो हमारा हक है हमारा अधिकार है बट इवेंचुअली हमने देखा है वो तो काफ़ी सेंसिटिव हो चुका है ऐसे मुद्दों पर जब वो बात करता है तो वो कहता है कि नहीं हमको चेंज की तरफ फोकस करना पड़ेगा रादर दैन कि हम लोग हर बार ब्लेम करें कि मर्द तो ऐसे ही होते हैं आप उनको कभी बदल नहीं सकते तो जब मैं फर्स्ट ईयर कॉलेज में आया तब मावा से जुड़ा उससे पहले मैं जेंडर के शब्द ही नहीं पता थे मेरे को जेंडर क्या होता है जेंडर स्कूल में ग्रामर में पढ़ाया था कि वहाँ पे पहली बार सुना था कि मेल फीमेल और अदर्स करके जब मावा में पहली बार गया तो मावा में वहाँ पे हमारा ओरिएंटेशन वर्कशॉप हुआ तो पता चला कि मतलब जेंडर क्या है और हम समाज में जेंडर को किस तरीके से देखते हैं मैं कोशिश करता हूं कि मेरे आजू बाजू के जो जो यंग स्कूल जाते बच्चे हैं उनसे इंटरेक्ट करके बात कर सकूं उनको कुछ भी हो सकता है जो भी नॉलेज है वो प्रोवाइड कर सकूं और मैं कैसे कम से कम मतलब ये चीज़ को हार्म कर सकता हूं बहुत कॉन्शियसली वो चीज़ का ध्यान देता हूं पहले मैं मावा के साथ बहुत वॉल्ट्री वर्क करता था बिकॉज ऑफ माई कॉलेज लेकिन अभी जैसे मेरा कॉलेज कम्प्लीट हुआ है तो मावा के जो कॉलेज में जेंडर सेशंस होते हैं उसमें मैं ओरिएंटेशंस देने जाता हूं और साथ ही साथ मैं मावा में जो मेन जो अवेयरनेस का काम होता है स्ट्रीट प्ले का तो उसमें मैं मोस्टली मेंटिंग का काम करता हूं एक्ट करता हूं हर साल की तरह इस साल भी एस कॉलेज में हम लोग एक छोटा सा नुक्कड़ नाटक आपके सामने प्रस्तुत गुड आफ्टरनून दो ज्वाइंट लेट देर बी वंडरिंग वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन वी वर जस्ट प्लेंग सम वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द सेशन ओके सो यू आर नॉट लेट uh those who join it will be really nice if you can stay on mute uh and one thing that we try to do uh and we are successful most of the times is to start things on time right so and i can see participants are joining in uh but in the interest of time also that there are so many people i don't want to be <laughs> keep 40 people uh waiting uh, right so let's start is that okay nilod well, that friend can we start right yeah 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 yes yeah, yeah. right so uh, quickly just to tell you how the session is going to be um, um, i'll i'll speak for the first maybe 5 minutes or 6 minutes or so and then i'll hand it over to uh, professor nilod pel to talk about the program in detail then i'll come back and say a few things and then we'll take the q and a when i can guarantee Uh, you that there'll be enough time for uh, Q and A, 
And I'm saying this confidently because this is the fourth webinar we are doing this week. We did LLM, we did MA Economics, we did NPH, and today's MA Development, right? So with that, with that, I'm going to start. Somebody needs to be on mute. I may keep clicking mute all, mute all to mute everyone. But uh, to keep this a slightly, uh, you also feel empowered. You can unmute yourself if you need to, right? I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm leaving it open so that you can unmute. With that, let me share my screen. My uh, deck I'm going to share so that I don't forget what I have to say. <laughs> Just to give me some cues. Uh, can you can you see the screen? Can somebody give me a thumbs up or a yes, yes or yes, something? Yes. In the right? Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, but just to start with, uh, let me do a formal introduction. Good afternoon. Warm welcome to this webinar right, on the MA Development Program. Uh, my name is Raj Gopal and uh, I head outreach uh, here at Azim Premji University. Uh, speaking to you in the wonderful city of uh, Bangalore uh, and a small town called uh, Sarjapur. That's where the campus is. Uh, session is very important for all of us uh, here at Azim Frames University so that yeah, getting, getting a chance uh, to interact uh, uh, with the postgraduate program aspirants, right? So, uh, see, when I keep saying this, I've never tried of saying this, that the social development sector in today's India uh, needs a lot of trained professionals, right? And uh, with the question that we keep asking is, do we have enough of them trained well enough? Uh, we can't enter the sector with some half-baked knowledge of having learned from the from Google or what is the new thing, Chat GPT, right? We need to we need to be academically trained before we uh, work uh, work on domains of education development and that. Right? So we'll see in today's webinar how we will unpack uh, our program and present that to you. Uh, so, but before going that, I would I would I would really really like want you to introduce. Uh, Azim Premji University, a quick one. We are part of Azim Premji Foundation, uh, and the university was established uh, in 2011, so more than a decade. We have a degree. I'm not going to go through the numbers. You can always go to the website, but the point is, we do offer degree, uh, diploma, and uh, continuing education programs. So, what broadly guides us uh, as as an institution, uh, as an academic institution, is number one, the philanthropic nature, right? I'll explain what is, because private philanthropy is not clearly understood in a country like India. Uh, and, the, and the place where I come from, they, they ask me, oh, private, what is your agenda, right? Uh, my agenda is very simple, very clear social purpose. And the, and, and the agenda is India. So I'll explain both though, uh, in, in two parts. The philanthropy gives us the opportunity to provide access to uh, a, a large number of students of India, right? So we really want the microcosm of India to be coming to Azim Premji University. So let it be in terms of need-based scholarships, the other support that may that they may require during their part of study in terms of a laptop or supporting them financially for field trips and things like that. So the, the philanthropy gives us uh, that opportunity also to give education uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a subsidized manner, right? Second, I said the social purpose, or, or uh, right, or what is the so social purpose of a private uh, university, right? So we are. I mean, I I I keep correcting uh, others when they say uh, when they when they say, oh, Azim Premji University, private university. No, we are a public spirited private university, right? See, our vision is that whatever we do, you know, let it be the degree programs, the research that we do. Uh, there's a lot of publications. I just saw an email, uh, a publication called Stories of Change. So anything that comes out of Azim Premji University should contribute towards making Zawa a better society, a much better society than what we are today, right? Uh, when we are quite proud of what we have achieved as a nation right, in the last 75 years, let's not uh, take away that, uh, what we have achieved. Uh, but the other end, we should uh, accept, right? We have minds to go uh, in terms of uh, access, equity, and justice, right? So the next one, uh, those who are familiar with Azim Premji University, uh, uh, we, we we are at Bangalore. That's where I'm talking to you uh, from. If you're in Bangalore, uh, please come for the open house. You have you'll have one more. Uh, the Saturday we we, have, we want to meet the, you in person to come. But the the what I want to announce here is uh, Azim Premji University Bhopal is coming up soon, and uh, we'll be offering academic programs there as well. Yeah. So uh, uh, with that introduction. 
I think we should go to into the next level of programs. I hope I do not take too much time, Nilotpal. Uh, because that's why that's why the students are here is to is to is to is to understand the next level of details, right? So, uh, uh, see, uh, quickly, I'm taking the uh, 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 responsibility of introducing uh, Nilotpal to you. Uh, and uh, I, 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 I'm just one thing I want to remind everyone is Azim Premji University's program is development, right? It's it's not it's not development studies, okay? So that keep that in mind. And I I keep correcting even graduates who are graduating from the second year, uh, telling this program is development. We'll we'll answer later uh, the differences nuances, but quickly about Nilotpal. Nilotpal is someone who's deeply interested in uh, issues of a farmer and farming and trying to understand this through the framework of what we call the um, political economy and culture, right? Uh, I'm keeping it brief uh, to, for you to really understand this entire body of work, you should go to the our prof his profile page on the website and uh, he's done some very, very interesting uh, uh, work. He teaches courses both in the in our MA development, also in the diploma program. And I'm Nilotpal, I'm going to repeat, uh, I'm never tired of repeating something that I learned from you that, uh, we are talking about planned social change, right? And uh, uh, not unplanned social change. So with that, uh, I would request Nilotpal uh, to take over from here and I'll step in as and when required. Yeah. Uh, sure, sure. Thanks, thanks Raj Gopal. Uh, hi everyone, hello, welcome again. Uh, I hope I'm audible and I'm also visible to all of you. Um, uh, I, I first of all wanted to say thanks to all of you for expressing your uh, interest in the program and for uh, perhaps wanting to know more about the program. I'm sure you know you have you have reached out to your friends, you have read about the program on on the web page of the university. You may have friends who are studying here, and they may have given you some information. But uh, nonetheless, I think. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it's it's uh, never like perhaps talking to, uh, you know, uh, talking to uh, a faculty member, perhaps, and and also um, other other people who are closely interested uh, and, and engaged with this program. Okay, so I hope that, you know, uh, most of you will have uh, uh, questions and we will be able to uh, answer them so that you are able to make up your mind towards the end of this interaction. And as Raj Gopal said, there is there are a number of interactions in person as well that are queued up. So in case you are in Bangalore, you are, you're very welcome to visit us on campus and meet us in person. Okay, so now let me let me take you through uh, the program that, uh, that you're interested in perhaps. Um, MA Dev uh, program is one of the flagship programs of the university and uh, the program has been running for, I think, uh, this is the 12th year that the program has been running. Um, and uh, the overall idea, you know, the, the objective of the program uh, is basically to do three things, right, uh, as the slide shows. Um, and as I think Raj Gopal was also underlining, the program is aiming to uh, prepare uh, quality professionals for uh, social development sector, okay? By doing three things. The first one is to prepare them to understand ground reality better. Here, the key word is understand. Uh, developing a, a good contextual and nuanced understanding of uh, India's development uh, history, India's present development moment, challenges, uh, difficulties, opportunities, you know. So, so the focus here is on understanding the context and the, and the uh, nuances of what we call development or, uh, you know, planned efforts for social change or, you know, improvement. Uh, the second major purpose of the program is to expose our students and thereby enable them to, to learn more about development, expose them to 
experiencing uh, you know development reality so here the keyword is experience it, it's not only understand uh, you understand with with concepts and ideas and theories and you know discussion but experience is something that is equally important to learn new things so um, here in the program we try to expose you to to experience uh, lived realities of 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 uh, you know individuals and groups um, in in villages, in urban uh, areas, in different kind of situations, and so on and so forth. Uh, by experiencing them, in some sense, you are getting a, a combination of understanding and also a, a first-hand idea of what does it mean actually to be uh, in the field of development. Okay, and then finally, the third important uh, uh, aspect of our course or objective of our course is um, developing a certain um, ethical perspective. Now, ethical is a tough word, but it comes from ethics or, or what should be done. You know, you often ask what is there, but you often ask also ask, uh, um, you know, what should be there? What should be the best way to develop? Um, so, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one step ahead of what is there to what ought to be there. What is our idea of a good society? What is our idea of a um, just society, right? So uh, those are questions that, you know, um, your ethical sensibilities uh, raise. So this is the third major objective of the program that our students should be able to um, have ethical sensibilities, okay? Uh, and and uh, with ethical sensibility, all of this together, you know, grounded understanding, experience, uh, some sense of what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad. Uh, with all of this, uh, the idea is that our our students at the end of this this course will have a set of practical skills and competencies with which they will go back to society and work, okay, in their chosen area of work, whatever they are interested in, they will go and be able to work with, with communities, work with organizations, um, you know, to, to, uh, to create uh, the kind of change that we all want to uh, see in our, in our communities, okay. So these are the three major aims. Uh, Rajagopal, can I, can I just request you to go to the next one yes thank you so this is the structure of the program uh, how do we do how do we achieve those three objectives that we just listed out uh, we do this by having a structure of the program i'm sure once again that you have looked at this structure you have perhaps gone through uh, introductory uh, you know uh, uh, information about some of them if you have been able to then gives you a better sense of what these uh, you know, courses are largely on this slide, you see uh, courses arranged across semesters. So in two years, you have four semesters. Um, and in the first and the second semester, that is your first year of the program, you do uh, what we call core courses. Okay, so just look at the courses listed in semester one. Um, and look at the courses in semester two, they are all called foundational or core courses. So the idea of these courses is that they are all mandatory. Everyone has to, uh, uh, you know, take these courses um, and uh, acquire the amount of learning that is needed there. And uh, these courses are trying to create the understanding part, you know, the first, uh, the first objective of the previous slide. So this is what these first semester and second semester courses are doing. Just take one example, you know, sociology of modern India, semester one. In this course, you will learn the basics of what we could call sociological imagination or a sociological perspective. How do you understand society from a sociological angle? What does it actually even mean to look at something sociologically? Okay, does it mean looking at things through relationships? 
does it mean looking at things through a certain kind of historical awareness of how you know uh, uh, you know a society has changed over time and so on and so forth so these are the kind of questions you might uh, uh, you know ask and deal with in uh, sociology of modern india ecology and development that's again a foundational course and here you will try to understand what is an ecological perspective to understand development uh, ecological could be uh, you know the the interaction between the social components of of uh, uh, you know a region or an area plus the biophysical aspects of an area you know water facilities or water resources or forest resources or you know wildlife there or air and so on and so forth and their interaction interaction between the social and the physical part so this is what the um, core courses are doing in semester 1 uh, along with them if you see the bottom part of semester 1 courses you will find that we have two uh, you know slightly differently named courses so one is open course 1 and then you have field immersion what are they uh, i'm sure some of you have ideas so you're perhaps thinking okay i know this uh, so open courses are literally uh, you know courses uh, um, open course is a course that is not um restricted to a discipline or not restricted to even many disciplines it's basically a um you know a course that allow or that is aimed to enable our students to look beyond academic world to look at things that are outside of academic uh, you know uh, training for example you know so uh, film or art or dance uh music um you know we need to know something about them as well uh, in order to get a rounded perspective on uh, on um, you know on our society on, on and on ourselves that you know uh, we have certain kind of needs about art and aesthetics as well so open courses are trying to uh, expose our students to that dimension of learning okay uh and uh, the last one field immersion uh, in the first semester um, uh, the field immersion as perhaps the name uh, clarifies it's basically uh, the experiential part that you that you found in the last in the previous slide so trying to experience lived reality so this is the first major experiential learning that our students go through um where they spend uh, two weeks um in in a with a community um uh, where they try to understand the development challenges and realities facing communities uh they spent time talking observing uh seeing experiencing the challenges and the um Uh, the opportunities of development okay so that semester 1 likewise semester 2 um you know so once you move to the second year that is your semester 3 then you can see the structure changes instead of you know the discipline names suddenly you have numbered you know courses elective 1 elective 2 elective 3 what does that mean uh, it means that now you are no more being asked to study the courses that then we tell you to study you can choose that's what elective means here right so um between semester 3 and semester 4 um you graduate from you know taking discipline oriented courses that are mandatory for, for everyone to making a choice yourself about the kind of courses you want to learn on a particular theme so there could be electives around health there could be electives around livelihood uh, there could be electives about organizational behavior uh, and so on and so forth so all these are domains of development so health becomes a domain or livelihood becomes a domain and uh, our students want to deepen their understanding of a particular area a particular field of development uh and that's what electives are trying to help you to do so uh in total we have about you know 80 plus electives to choose from you know across these semesters 3 and 4 um but as i told you 
the 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 electives are organized around thematic concerns so if you are you know if you're interested in health uh, not because of covid and what has happened to the world but in general let's say that you're interested or even perhaps because of covid uh, let's imagine that you're interested in health then you can choose electives like um, say food and nutrition or you can choose uh, electives like uh, global uh, political economy of health where you try to see how uh, you know uh, global globally health has emerged as an important area and what kind of practices and what kind of policies have driven it so uh, so just give you an example of electives you know similarly if you're interested in, in livelihoods you will have courses on migration you will have courses on uh, you know livelihood programs uh, and so on and so forth hmm. uh, now i want you to just just look at the uh, you know um, the elective number 8 and then after that there is a small uh, name of a course that reappears in course of independent study okay now the course of independent study is also a form of elective course you elect to do it you choose to do it uh, but it's slightly different from the other electives that i talked about because this one is something that you design that is to say you literally design uh, you know an independent study yourself with help of uh, you know faculty mentor and uh, you propose to do that course, design and do that course um, over an entire semester four. So, uh, you know, along with other electives that you are studying for, this is another independent study that you choose to design, you choose to uh, do, and then you uh, have an exam and you pass it. Okay, so um, it is done. It's it's not very dissimilar from a dissertation, but it's slightly dissimilar in the sense that you're not only doing a research uh, study here, you could be doing something like, you know, um, a, a training program that you want to design, let's say, in uh, in gender, gender identity. So you want to design a training program that you want to run in a community. And uh, you propose to make that into your independent study. You could do an evaluation study as well. For, for example, uh, an organization, a development organization has run a program for development and you are interested in finding out whether it has worked or not. So course of independent study allows you to do something like that. Okay. Now, uh, uh, so this is about electives. As you come to the bottom part of semester three and semester four, you find that you know uh, field level learning here becomes more structured, um, and it is uh, you know summer field apprenticeship um, in in semester two towards the end of semester two and uh, in between semester two and three, and it's literally learning how to become a development worker while attaching yourself to a civil society development organization. So you are basically doing an internship. You're doing an apprenticeship uh, under the mentorship of a seasoned development practitioner from a development organization. So, uh, you know, uh, generally how it works is that you have uh, a number of organizations. Uh, students choose the thematic area sometimes and then they see which organization that that they can go to to do their internship and of course uh, faculty members help them with their choices uh, but you work within the organization across india you work within the organization to learn uh, learn about development practice uh, and this is for four uh, you know four credits so this is actually a longer stay in in rural or urban um, areas uh, you know four to five weeks is what you stay for and you try to uh, learn the craft of development practice last of this is winter field project which is the longest stay that you have in a development um, in development context uh, here you unlike the internship here you uh, develop a project uh, a it could be a research project um, or it could be an evaluation study uh, and you spend about eight weeks trying to 
answer you know the kind of research questions you have asked or you're trying to do data collection uh, for your uh, for your project you can't do you know secondary data work here you can't sit in a library and do this you have to be in field uh, interact with uh, different stakeholders and do your winter field project okay so um, largely this is 72 credit scores and as this structure told you you start with mandatory core courses coming from disciplines two electives that's one way in which you graduate you move and the second is that you start with you know a field immersion and then to internship and a project uh, and in few cases also going up to course of independent study okay so uh, if you have questions i'm sure you will have questions to clarify uh, about courses uh, you're very welcome to you know remember them and bring them up uh, when we have q a uh, rajagopal uh, do we have more slides or are we through with the structure no 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 we are, we are now uh, done with the structure okay what i thought was i think we are well within the time uh, thank you nilod for <laughs> we thought we'll finish at 5 30 and then i'll take questions so and it is it is quite refreshing for me also because uh, what you spoke is what we uh, use in the outreach when we go to colleges and, and i really like the, the the understanding part that you said right the, the understanding of development building perspectives is important before you start uh, designing the intervention and it, it's it can't be just approaching uh, development uh, you know using skills alone right i think that's the mistake when I was, I mean, I'm not done. I mean, this one survey that we are looking at doing, trying to see who are the people working in the development sector today, uh, and what is what is it, what have they, what are they trained in? Uh, I mean, are they, I'm an engineer myself, so let me. I mean, are there too many engineers out there working on MBA uh, holders, management uh, holders working there without an understanding of these perspectives, right? So that sometimes bothers me. So thank you very much, Dr. So what we will do now is uh, before we take questions. Yeah, see the uh, Isha, I'll answer. I mean, don't ask in both in chat and uh, this thing. Let me finish two more slides, but then we'll take questions. Don't worry about the number of seats. We have enough seats. Okay, but but just to answer, uh, it's around four sections. Uh, so one thing for, for you to quickly remember is that you are all applying. If you're applying now, you'll be applying for the second round. We did first round uh, early, 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 uh, uh, November, December. And looking at the response, uh, we may be continuing with this round one and round two. And then if you have not finished uh, your application form for round two, please do complete it. Uh, there are very less uh, chances of extension, even if we are extending, right? The admission committee takes the call. Even if we are extending, it will be just by a day or so, uh, because we cannot, we don't have uh, the bandwidth to extend it by week because the entrance test is on 12th of March, right? Uh, and and uh, that's the, that's on a, a Sunday. So uh, with, with this, with this, I think, I mean, I'm just summarizing, right? People, I was in a session this morning and there was a lot of debate about, you know, when we say developing leaders for social change and what is this, what is the social sector? I was interacting with a group of uh, institution heads. Mm -hmm. So the, it's, it's like this, right? That there are, uh, we, we clearly have to acknowledge the barriers of human development in India, right? I mean, uh, uh, we have to acknowledge that fact. And then that that situation will change only in, uh, not like people like me are, are, are getting old, right? And you know, Phil is much younger. It will change only if, if young people uh, join the social sector. This is, I, I literally, I think I should, uh, uh, for this structure, I should thank Ashok Sarkar. And I was asking him, where, how will this situation change? He said, very simple, youth, the youth is the hope, right? They should join the uh, social sector and professionalize it also. And that is what the social sector is doing, right? You, you, the social sector is trying to strengthen the public systems. The issues that we're seeing today, in, in especially from the context of India, it could be globally as well, is where we need to strengthen the public system. It could be public health, it could be public education, it could be public distribution, it could be public, uh, the way the panchayat works and things like that. But to work in the social sector organization, you should get equipped right you should get you should get you should have the uh, you know before the the way you uh, before you go start playing football right you don't just go you you build your body in the gym right 
you're not going to the gym to become a professional weightlifter or something but so in the same way you need to you need to a development is an area of academic inquiry if i can say so right so so with that summary uh, we'll we'll take questions now there are a couple more slides uh, which is very very transactional scholarship you know do you have placement da, da, da. but i'll go to those slides only if there are questions is that okay nilupa is it fine we'll take questions now yeah so, sure 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 so yes. so the the questions what i'm going to stop sharing so that you can see a slightly in a bigger format so uh, we'll take questions on chat first right or if you want to speak to us please use the raise hand option and i'll take one by one right both are fine both are fine right both are fine for us so uh, so there's a question from sahil sahil uh, the results of the interview i i understand you have paid for round one uh, the results will be announced only in early march uh, and then uh, i'm coming from legal background will the the course be covering the policy and law aspects in any way nilotpal you could you answer that question yeah. so in fact there was another question about uh, uh, from uh, from another participant about whether health and livelihoods are the only two specialization so i i you know let me clarify this way that uh, we don't call them specializations per se but these are thematic areas around which you can see certain uh, number of electives organized as if they all give you different dimensions of that thematic area uh, in different courses so um, a, a, they they are not explicitly called a specialization but yes you are right that health livelihoods along with governance and sustainability these are four major thematic areas that you find a lot of our electives you know speaking to or oriented to so in 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 governance on the theme of governance you will have you know a number of electives that are looking at let's say urban governance uh, systems in india uh, municipal corporations and urban laws and so on and so forth similarly you have an elective around rural governance in india you have uh, electives around law and public policy in india um, you will have electives around you know the question of citizenship in india very important and relevant uh, you know theme with which we are uh, you know jostling or have been jostling for about you know two two centuries now okay so you do have a number of electives on on governance and you also have a have a number of electives on sustainability uh, and and rightly so because of, you know all of you know that uh, we are facing an unprecedented uh, you know crisis of uh, sustainable development so i hope that i have answered that you know health and uh, health and livelihoods are an important are two important themes but there are other two themes as well around which you find a number of electives okay along with these four you know major thematic areas you have other kind of electives as well that are that are perhaps not speaking to any one of them and is speaking to all four of them even that is a possibility so you have courses on let's say global political economy um, of aid how is aid coming to third world countries okay now that 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 kind of a course speaks to all the four elect, you know themes that i perhaps introduced to you okay so uh, uh, in some sense uh, you know it's a very widely cast net and uh, you will be literally spoiled for a you know choice <laughs> that's what i've done i've done a little bit of academic administration when i started and it's always confusing for students i mean out of the they have to do four electives in a semester right four electives in a semester yes i mean well have the same in debi konsa karu right mm -hmm. and uh, and there are some of them who very interestingly don't try to uh, they don't want to stay on with a, a theme or anything they want to mix and match right so they'll they'll do one course on to understand organization forms or social or social uh, enterprises and organization form they mix and match and do it they may do cross listed electives with something which is offered by the education space so the electives is where uh, you have the flexibility of designing uh, your second year 
uh, depend the based on uh, what you have done in the first year. Right? First year has given you a nice launch pad uh, to decide, right? So, okay. So, uh, any other, any other mute all? Let me just do mute all, and they can unmute themselves. Yeah, uh, Faisal, uh, what's your question? Sir, hello. Good evening, sir. So, can I speak? Huh? Yes, Faisal. Yes, so, sir, I completely agree with the point that the youth of today should uh, join the development sector and, you know, try to professionalize it. I myself have been a volunteer during my undergraduate days and currently also I'm working with, uh, like, a, in partnership with Teach for India. Uh, we go to schools and we teach the kids about financial literacy, budgeting, why investing is very important and all. Uh, so, having said that, uh, you, you like, I can have conveyed that I'm quite empathetic towards this sector, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, I also want to know, and I don't want to like uh, sound uh, greedy or something, but just want to know that what are the salary that we'll be looking at, mm -hmm. like, yeah. you know, after we graduate. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, <laughs> would you want to, I mean, can I start answering? Yes, yes, please. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, how do I say this? So let me answer this in two, three parts. See, if when, see, when you're working in the development sector, you're basically uh, you know, trying to bring about uh, a, a change, right? See, you can't work for that change unless you are happy. Huh? Trust me. <laughs> so so the, 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 the uh, remuneration that you get, and I'm somebody who's been observing the sector for the last 10 years, right? 2013 is where I joined as Indian University. And then uh, for the last 10 years, I've been observing the uh, broad sector, of course, the data that we have in the placement cell. Right? So we have organizations that are going to 50 campuses for recruitment. You know, not, not Chota Mota, either 50 campuses, they go for recruitment, like something like somebody like a Pradhan or Azim Premji Foundation. Because that is the kind of requirement that these organizations have, and that's the kind of districts they were working. We work in 50 districts. So even if you want to put two people in each district, we need 200 people to be recruited every year. Right? So remuneration also, it is really, really, and this is something that we do not do, trying to lure candidates to this kind of programs by showing the pay package, right? That's something that we deliberately do not do. But since you asked that question, I am seeing the starting salary going up from an 18, 19, 20,000 per month in 2013 uh, to 30, 35, uh, per month now, yeah, but uh, and and the, 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 I think there's a, this is the there's a myth out there amongst uh, I can say people of my age who are whose kids may be, or, or parents thinking that social sector may mufts may kam karna padta hai voluntary kuch kam hai things are changing right things are changing things are definitely changing. And then once after five, six years experience, or even you have close to 10 years of experience, uh, when you start designing uh, programmatic interventions, uh, right, you, you become a kind of a specialist. So for example, somebody is asking, do I have, uh, is there a specialization in health or livelihoods? You become a specialist after working for eight, nine years in that area. In depth, you know, uh, right? In depth, if, I mean, if you're working in livelihoods, you will know from uh, theory, to policy, to planning, to practice, right? That's the range of experience that they have. So, uh, and I don't know uh, whether I should say this, but since you asked, uh, is, is your question only about money? Uh, no, sir. Uh, so basically, sir, thank you for the information. Uh, it, I think it is a pretty good package for, for the initial, uh, for, yeah. you know, in your initial career. And sir, uh, it's not only about money. I also wanted to know, I forgot to ask that, mm -hmm. that do we get a chance, of course, not initially, but uh, three years, four years down the line to work with uh, international organizations like, let's say, Dalberg. Dalberg is a uh, social policy consulting firm or let's say FSG or World, uh, something with the United Nations, etc. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, <laughs> this I, when, I may sound a little bit preachy, but let me still do that, huh? Uh, and now since my uh, hair is slightly gray, I'm, I'm sure you won't, won't uh, look. See, when you talk about all these names, right? All this, all this, uh, what, uh, 
international development consultants. I don't know what to call them, international development consultants. So UN is slightly different uh, because it's just it's, it's a body by itself, right? All this, uh, um, you should really see or make and see or the BCGs of the world. You know, they also have may have a, a practice of vertical of working with the government. You should really, really do look at what is the kind of work they're doing. If the work, if it, uh, it, it may look fancy from outside, but before you ask that question, talk to people who are working there. And uh, are they just sitting behind Excel sheets and looking at data without knowing the people about the people behind the data? Right. So uh, the quick answer to you is yes, our graduates have gone there. It may not be their first job. Right. Later on, after working in grassroots organizations, uh, initially uh, with, with a Pradhan or a Gram Vikas or an Eklavya Foundation working on the ground, they feel that, yes, there, are, there is opportunity to work in an organization that is possible. But I don't think you know, the first job will be with an UNDP or a, and are they even recruiting? I'm not, I'm not really, really don't know. Right. I mean, I saw a post today on UNICEF. You won't believe what the, it looks like it's a job, job requirement in UNICEF, but it says it's to collect fund. Fundraising will be the job that you end up doing uh, in, in, in these international uh, consulting organizations, not consulting organizations, some other organizations. But quick answer is yes, uh, but with the backing of uh, experience of having worked uh, in the grassroots. Nilotpal can add because he's been in the sector for much, much more time than me. I'm still learning. No, no, I think I will completely agree with you, Raj Gopal. Um, the answer is yes. Uh, not as your first job, but you know, with with experience of you know of of the area and uh, uh, the thematic area and experience also of your own practice, uh, doors do open after five years, six years. Yeah, right? yeah. But I'm just thinking. I'll talk to. I mean, if not now, let me speak to my colleague Subrat Mishra, who is the placement lead. He has he has got a good insight about the sector because he speaks to some 300 or organizations every year. <laughs> and he's sitting uh, with, a, with, with a mine of data of what these organizations are, what the placement, what is it like, what could be the career path. One question that you you should you don't ask is what is going to be my career trajectory in the social sector? Right? That's an important thing to ask. And I'm not saying have a um, plan that I want to become a CEO of an organization in these many years. That's not the aim. But uh, how should one look at? Should I start at the uh, block level? And then go to the district level, and then work at the state level, or should I start working at the state level? So, so things that is those are the things that we would, we would do. But before the hands are raised, I, let me quickly go to the chat uh, chat questions, and then I'll come back. Let me see uh, if I have not mentioned. Uh, did it, uh, pretty good. There are some direct messages coming. Mm, see in what order I take this. In one second. Seat intake, I answered. Thematic, we answered. Exams for round two are in April, I answered. A requirement of UG, I answered, right? So whatever you've done, everything is valuable. In terms of placement, the available opportunity to join international, we answered. Selected and round by interview, and also done, but results not out. So can I so technically, Shiv, uh, you can, but why would you, right? But let's wait for the results. Syllabus for entrance examination is there on the website. I can put it here. Uh, uh, let me stop sharing the screen, and then I'll be able to do that on the second. Oh, you have stopped sharing the screen, is it? Okay, I'll, 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 I'll share the uh, link of selection process very, very soon. Would the course be suitable for those who have some work experience development or more catering to fresh undergrads? Uh, it is definitely for both. We need, I mean, when I say that, uh, I mean, I don't know whether I said that we want India to be in the classroom. It's a direct message to me, Nilot, but some of them are directly, don't do, I mean, if, of course, if you want to, there are my other colleagues who may want to answer. So if possible, put it for everyone. So, but they'll be able to answer. So this question is, uh, would this course be suitable for those who have some work experience in development sector, right? Or, uh, I mean, I would say uh, you're welcome, very welcome, because you have the practice, you, are, you know the uh, other side of it, and you are coming here uh, very consciously right very very consciously that i want academic frameworks before i go back to the sector so yeah please you're more than welcome so it's not catering to the fresh undergrads uh, as as such yeah uh, one more question i'm selected for the first round development is my interview can i be eligible you are eligible but but puja i would say uh, wait for a while technically you can right technically you can right 
when are the forms starting i do not understand uh, the forms are available you can go and apply online uh, that's a pretty good initial package yeah the social sector i mean say, i'm not saying you mean the, the, a lot of this pay package information was, are available on the website you can go to there are a lot of portals like devinfo.net and uh, devnet ninjio box right scope of phd after an ma in development maybe sambit uh, sambit i think you were there yesterday also for the mph uh, but not well, you would want to answer that question uh, plus if you could also take uh, what are the type of questions that we can expect for interviews mm, right so uh, some bit right um, yeah. the uh, the course is actually uh, you know a rounded a very rounded course that's why that's why rajagopal was saying uh, you know in, in his response to the question that uh, could someone who has worked for a year or two in the development sector be um, be interested in a course of this nature yes uh, that's because the course is a rounded exposure to uh, you know the 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 uh, to the area of development now if that is the case then uh, you know uh, the answer to your question about whether one could go for phd or not that question is also partially answered by it yes the course will help you get a rounded theoretical and practical understanding of the program but it will it will not by itself lead you to a phd program in the sense that you may still want to you know work for some time get little more exposure in a certain often times students are not sure where exactly is their interest lying in terms of what subject they should choose what questions they should ask for a phd program so that takes time i mean that that's how it worked for most of us i suppose who wanted to do a phd so i guess my answer will be you uh, you will find the program helpful in order for you to perhaps uh, uh, concentrate on your own interest or discover your own interest in terms of what do you want to work on for your phd right but the course is not uh, very academically oriented to prepare you for phd no that's not the purpose of the course the purpose of the course is to give you a rounded exposure on questions of development so i hope that answers your question um, about what kind of questions uh, you might expect in the interview well uh, we are interested in knowing you first of all okay in the interview we want to know who is this person who is interested in our program uh, what are his or her reasons, motivations, interests uh, to come and spend two years with us? Uh, so that's you know that's one major area around which you can expect uh, you know questions. The second link to that is also some questions about what have you done academically and non-academically before you made application to. Ajim Premji University MED program. So these are the two broad, let's say, areas in which our curiosity is about you lie. Okay. Um, an interview is largely an interaction. It's not to test how much you know, as much as to test, as much as to understand the person who is interested in our program. Okay, uh, I, you know, I hope I said something meaningful to your question, Raj Gopal, uh, please feel free to add. No, no you, you covered it very well. I really like that, but the point that you made, I mean, this is also a tell question when this asked for PhD, I, I, when I, I may sound a bit rude, I asked them, what is the research question? So it's, it, it'll all evolve whether you should do PhD only after, I mean, uh, Milotpal is a great example for that. He, he thought about doing PhD later after working on the ground right so it is possible we'll, we'll, uh, it is definitely possible but since you asked the question it is preparing you for careers in the broad social development sector and that is the primary objective we need we need people in the 725 or 35 districts i don't know how many it is around 700 plus districts of the of the country uh, to go and work there and contribute uh, towards societal change so let me now there are some two raised hands let me take i don't want to be ignoring ranjit and nabarnita I'll take that and I have a very interesting question on somebody who's done botany 
wanting to come into that's my favorite question so then also i'll request that i take that because we really want science students to come into the development sector really really when it could they could have done maths engineering and uh, i'll answer that uh, question later but ranjit what's your question hello sir uh, good evening, uh, good evening. Uh, sir my name is uh, ranjit ghosh and i am from west bengal mm -hmm. uh, currently i am doing bsw from ignu yes. and uh, currently i am in third year uh, so my final year exam uh, will be held uh, around uh, june to july month Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in igno uh, it takes uh, too much time to you know update our results and uh, mm -hmm. so so like uh, uh, i checked uh, apo website and they are they are they are uh, mentioned that uh, uh, july 20 23 uh, will be the uh, will be uh, class will be started so uh, if uh, my my questions is regarding to admission process uh, like if if I could not submit my final year uh, degree uh, or provisional certificates uh, uh, during uh, during the last yeah, date. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'll do that. So sir, if if this okay, okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. I think I got a question. Quickly, just for uh, good that you asked the question for the benefit of all, right? See, we're looking at class starting the classes in July. Not looking at it's all it's all, it's all confirmed. We are. Uh, we'll be starting the classes in July, right? So if your final semester runs into July, August, September, because it's it's across the country, the, the, the academic calendar is very, very different, right? So if you will have classes going on in July, August, September, October in some of the universities which I which we got to know, then you will not be able to join Azim Premji University this year. That's for clear, right? Because you can't be, uh, uh, you, because you need to finish those classes and get your degree. If your classes have completed, say by May, June, or before that, uh, exams classes completed, then you will be we'll give you provisional admission. What that means is what provisional admission means is we are admitted to Azim Range University, but as soon as you get your final year degree marks, you should submit it, and we'll give you a date for that. It could be September fifteenth, it could be October fifteenth, but it can't be uh, uh, March or April twenty twenty four. Is that okay? Is that clear, Ranjit? So we'll give yes, you uh, something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay, uh, thank yeah. you, sir. Thank Nabanita, you. what's your question? Yeah, good evening, Rajgopal sir, and all the panelists here. Uh, the question is like, uh, we are a little confused. Like, uh, people who are doing their bachelor's, I understand their view and their passion and all that. Mm -hmm. I come with uh, a mixed, uh, you know, experience. Like, 12 years I've been into the corporate, and mm -hmm. then I was on a sabbatical break, and then COVID and everything. So, it was a big break, basically. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to restart my career. I've, I'm already, you know, in a school, uh, you know, as a teacher, I'm working there. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the reason I am more keen on the MA on education that uh, thing but yeah, yeah. my question is like it is a general question now yeah, now yeah. since since we come with a you know like a mix of uh, uh, experiences now I was there in the corporate for some time now now I am into the social thing like I am into education and all that yeah. stuff in, into the school thing now <laughs> now going forward when you know the placements and everything takes place will mm -hmm. my prior career I mean prior uh, you my experience would also be considered or do i have to consider my career afresh yeah 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 so, and just uh, coincidentally you... you and me we have worked in the same organization right right yeah yeah so are, are you if let me just quickly if you're based in bangalore hmm. i don't know where yeah, you are I'm, yes yes i am very much in bangalore then you should come tomorrow for the social enterprise mela okay <laughs> I would love right. to. I'm planning wait, wait, wait. to come on so Saturday. For others also, for others. Yeah, okay, Saturday. Yeah. So then if you're coming on Saturday, I'm going to uh, talk about this aspect specifically to, to, I want to talk to the working professionals. Uh, you are much more better off in terms of, uh, better off in the sense you are in the school space. So uh, you are interacting, your community interaction is much more. Huh? I'm more, I want to talk to the, what we call in Bangalore language, the techies. Right, the techies or the people who are in the financial and BFSI segment or the FMCG or into retail and things like that, they should also know that there is a career path in the social development sector, right? So, uh, Navanita, if you really look at the core of it, the skills that is required is more or less the same. Huh? This is this distinction is slightly artificial 
public sector, government sector, corporate sector, social sector, it, the, the distinction is artificial. The transferable skills that you need is the same. And when I, what I mean by transferable skills is ability to work with others, team building, uh, basic process management skill. You, you know a task, how do you break it down into smaller tasks and how do you complete it? It's the same. What is required to work in the social development sector is an understanding of the people or the community in context. So the, we do not have, I mean, I'm never tired, tired of saying this. We do not have techno-managerial solutions for problems of human beings, right? Because human beings are not machines. <laughs> so this program is valuable for people with work experience because you bring in a diverse range of views, ideas based on your uh, personal and work life. And you may also add to the richness of the classroom. Yeah. So we'll talk in detail. So. Uh, and uh, and that's the that's the kind of classroom that we want. Okay, we'll talk in detail if you're coming here on Saturday. I'll remember to have a separate section. Ganesh, your question. Yes, sir. Sir, first, thank you. This you opportunity me. give me opportunity. My question are uh, uh, please uh, please tell me your opinion. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we are every field uh, to select it. Then uh, our uh, what is more important than our skills or institution or uh, background training centers, etc. See here, I mean, I, 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 I mean, not. If you want to ask Hindi, you can ask Hindi. Okay, both both near the north pole, of course, it's better. Sir, I mean, I want to ask. If we go anywhere, 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 if we go तो हमारे लिए हमारे स्किल ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है या हमारा बैकग्राउंड का कॉलेज जो डिग्री का कॉलेज है जो ट्रेनिंग सेंटर से वो इंपॉर्टेंट है yeah. हमारे लिए इंपॉर्टेंट क्या है yeah. ये मेरा सवाल है तो so ये 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 सवाल आप आपको खुद पूछना चाहिए ठीक है कि नहीं सो आई डोंट वांट टू कन्वर्ट दिस इनटू अ करियर काउंसलिंग सेशन द सेंस द थिंग इज गणेश इज लाइक दिस राइट इन इंडिया आफ्टर 12th दोस वर इन कॉलेज अभी जो कॉलेज में है देयर आर ओनली 27% इन कॉलेज इन दैट एज ग्रुप that means if I do a survey in India of youth between 18 and 23, only 27% is in higher education. Others have dropped out for various reasons. Now, what is the kind of education you want? You will decide, Ganesh. I skill to do education, which could be going to an ITI, getting trained on a particular skill of welding or a carpentry. And that is also valuable, right? We need that, right? We need excellent drivers who will drive well on the roads kind of thing. Now, you come to a higher education institution because, or, or let me, let me because we're talking about Azim Trinji University, let, let me give you an answer with the context of Azim Trinji University. You're coming to Azim Trinji University because you're interested to understand ki hamara desh aisa kyun hai. Right? Kuch log malab yes, dinesh, right? Ha. So skill, you cannot solve the problems of human beings only using skills. Hame drishtikon chahiye. Yes, sir. Yes. Ah, dono chahiye. Yes, sir. Yeah, that is what. That's all. And now I'll stop here, right? When the question is, up, sabji mandi ja rahe ho, matlab alu ya sabji le rahe hai, 50, 60 rupees ka. Aapko ye puchna chahiye ki ya 60 rupees to main de raha hu yahan pe, wo jo market mein jo big bazaar ho, jo bhi naam ho, kisan ko kitna mila hoga? Right. वो भी सोचने जरूरी है. वो भी समझना है, right? So, agar kisan 10 rupees banata hai aur aap yahan pe 60 rupees de raha hai. बीच का 50 रुपए किसने बनाया बैठे-बैठे कौन सा मिडिलमैन ने बनाया वो 50 रुपए राइट सो इट्स 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 नॉट एन इजी आंसर राइट सो आई विल स्टॉप हियर गॉट इट नो ओके सर अजीम प्रेमजी यूनिवर्सिटी इट्स नॉट दैट आई मीन यू गो टू हायर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन अ गुड प्लेस फॉर एन एकेडमिक एंक्वायरी ऑफ द डोमेन ओके स्किल्स स्किल्स यू कैन आल्सो डू सम साइड में कुछ कोर्स करके सीख सकते हैं यहां पे आप सीखोगे नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम द फैकल्टी मेंबर्स यू विल आल्सो लर्न फ्रॉम योर पीयर्स यस थैंक यू सर Thank you. So, uh, Isha and Sambit, I have already answered. Isha, what's your question? Uh, so, so, I think it was lack on my part that yeah. I didn't go through the dates exactly. So, I was assuming it's going to be 9th April itself where the written examination would be. No, so no, I that's just okay. wanted to. Many people are confused. Just, uh, that is 9th April is for the undergrad programs. 
Oh, okay. So I wanted to ask if the the entrance exam could also be online, or will it have to be that we'll have to go to the nearest center you and have to that's how to it will a, be? Yeah, yeah. You have to go to a nearest center, but you will be appearing for the examination on a uh, device. Okay, and this yeah. won't be held again. So it's the only day that we can yeah, we'll have yeah, to yeah, travel. Yes. Yes, yes. Wherever is your center? Uh, not twelfth April, no. Ninth. Uh, uh, sorry, twelfth March. Twelfth March. Yeah. Not April. April. PG. PG is in March. UG is in April. <laughs> you do. Please don't confuse me again. That's <laughs> joke. So you'll have to travel. Sorry, it's a Sunday, and uh, I think I'm not sure of the time slot. Most probably it'll be in the afternoon. So you'll have enough time to reach your center. Yeah. Can I go to some bit? Yeah, you have a question or did, did we answer your question, some bit? Those who are answered, you can lower your hand, please. I'm just doing it, but if you could. Some bit, what's your question, some bit? Hope you answered, right? Balu, what's your question? I have a lot of chat messages that I need to answer, especially the botany uh, question. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, please, uh, um, I'm, I just How are you Hello. I'll take Balu's question, some bit. Just wait for a minute. Huh? Okay. Hello. Sir, I am from Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh -huh. I am completed already MSc chemistry in a uh, Dr. Baba Sabambad University. Yeah. Very nice. So, but I am not interested in lectureship and any research and development job. I am interested in an uh, NGO. Uh, <laughs> sir, uh, hello. Uh -huh, Bolib, I can, I can hear so, you. Uh -huh, sir, I am interested in NGO. I am interested in MA development. But sir, actually, the मैंने पीजी में जो देखा वही मिलेगा या डिफरेंट कुछ ऐसा मुझे इंटरेस्ट नहीं है सर जॉब में इसलिए मैं एनजीओ में एनजीओ में इंटरेस्ट है इसलिए मैं या तो आप सी द थिंग इज नीलोत्पल एंड आई कैन ट्राई टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन माय क्वेश्चन इज आप किसी को जानते हो जो अजीम प्रेम यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़ाई किया हो नहीं सर मैं अकेला ही हूं थोड़ा मतलब कोशिश तो करो आप कहां से हैं मतलब महाराष्ट्र यवतमाल से हैं नागपुर में हैं भंडारा में कहां पे हैं परवनी परवनी औरंगाबाद के नजदीक है औरंगाबाद इसके बाद यू सेंड मी एन ईमेल एट आउटरीच आई विल कनेक्ट यू विद सचिन वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ स्टडी इट इज गुड टू लिसन टू देम एंड फाइंड आउट whether this is the right program for you हां ठीक है हां देखो एनजीओ में काम करने के लिए शायद आपको सीधा आपका रिज्यूमे देके भी शायद वो लोग ले लेंगे आपको नहीं सर मुझे कुछ प्रॉपर पता नहीं उसके बारे में हां कोर्स करना है प्रॉपर Correct, correct. Again, then the then the answer is done, right? If you ah. want, this is a academically very demanding program. You know, I I I don't know whether I should say and scare them off, but ah. this is it, it's 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 quite a rigorous academic journey of uh, uh, two years, right? Yes, yes, sir. So if you're in, if you're somebody interested in reading a lot, right? You're somebody who's uh, who wants to think about what you have read. एंड देन थिंकिंग के बाद यहाँ पे असाइनमेंट लिखना पड़ेगा फाइनल ईयर एग्जाम नहीं है यहाँ पे फाइनल सेमेस्टर एग्जाम नहीं है हर महीना आपको लिखना पड़ेगा टू रिफ्लेक्ट व्हाट यू हैव रेड व्हाट इज थिंकिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्वेश्चंस गिवन टू यू बाय द फैकल्टी मेंबर्स इट विल बी टेक होम एग्जामिनेशन ग्रुप वर्क सो इट्स इट्स टू ईयर्स ऑफ रीडिंग राइटिंग एंड थिंकिंग और थिंकिंग रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग अच्छा अच्छा ये समझ गया सर मैं will would have evaluated you through entrance and the interview that you are somebody who will do well in the development program hai ki nahi ha sir hai ki nahi to wo to kya hoga na ha uske baad ha uske baad then you have when you have a structure here we'll we'll give a structure of attending classes right attending seminars attending workshop going for field practice ye sab the, the way it is designed is looking at the needs of the social development sector You are not. You are coming only for ज्ञान यहाँ मेरे के हम ये तो सोचना नहीं है अच्छा देश में ऐसा हो रहा है क्योंकि है ना ये सब ठीक नहीं इसीलिए ऐसे हो रहा है नो वी हैव ऑल द आर्किटेक्चर टू मेक दिस अ डेवलप कंट्री स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वी हैव एवरी एवरी आर्किटेक्चर अवेलेबल इन द कंट्री हमें ये समझना है कि फिर भी फिर भी डेवलपमेंट इश्यूज क्यों है सो आई स्टॉप यर बट आई होप दिस इज हेल्पिंग अदर्स दस पे आई एम कंटिन्यू मनोपल ओके सर आई एम अंडरस्टैंडिंग 
thank you thank you so ye ye that's not a right question to ask will it be like my msc chemistry because that's a completely different program i mean since you asked that question see msc chemistry somebody will go into msc chemistry or msc physics or say ma in history because you're deeply interested in that you did that in your undergraduate program uh, i did sociology i want to do a masters in sociology then you do that right and you are you are getting into the further depths of the discipline this is a interdisciplinary and a transdisciplinary program okay and which i'll answer which i'll connect to the question of uh, botany some bits what's your question Uh, no sir thank you then you can lower your hand balu's question is answered yamini last question no please do not raise hands until i finish the chat messages then you can raise hand yamini what's your question uh good evening sir good evening uh sir although nilotpal sir already answered this but mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow is my interview and i am having those last day anxiety for the interview So I wanted to know about the questions that may be asked in the interview for the development program specifically. So if you can throw light on this. So I mean, before I before Nilotul days, let me Nilotul, let me just give you give her a, uh, uh, some quick quick tips. Huh? Then then you can take on. It's not it's not preparing you for the interview. See the thing is. it will be one of the most friendliest chats that you would have had in your life huh? it's not a job interview it's not a job interview it's it's not like a job interview that we are trying to put you uh, under some stress or pressure okay uh, yes, and and uh, we i mean and, uh, we want to know what you know <laughs> so whatever you have done in your undergraduate program try to remember that you know you have done What what were you learned? They'll ask you what is your favorite area. You should have that answer. So it's it's mostly reflecting of your last last definitely your last three years of journey, and then your interest in the program, things like that. Nilotpal, over to you. If there is anything that okay. you need to add. No, I I I wouldn't say anything different than what you did, uh, Raj Gopal. Uh, Nyamini, uh, we are interested in knowing uh, you know you as a person and what what makes you interested in the program, and also see the fit between you know your your motivation to attend the program and what the program demands of a demands of a student. So that's the broad you know guideline or concern that drives the interview. So be yourself. okay uh ex do expect a very friendly conversation okay um and uh, just just uh, you know try to answer uh, with sincerity um, the kind of questions that are coming to you so uh, yeah it it's an interaction largely okay yes, yes don't sir. worry it should be all right yeah okay thank thank you so much sir thank you so um, um nilotpal there's an interesting question swastik kumar pradhan i hope you are still there you're not left uh, the chat right uh, i think he's been waiting yes, for yes sir yes sir i'm yeah, present thank you thank you this is i think i waited for not i didn't wait for the i didn't mean to keep you waiting this long i think his question is this nilotpal no sir it's okay the, yeah i sell yeah. swastik kumar pradhan yeah. i'm from odisha yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah by the way i'm doing yeah. my bsc in botany yeah yeah i'll answer this right so question so, is this you know yeah, yeah. I, and then i'm i'm reading yes, it sir, i mean, i'm read, it, it's, it's very clear you articulated it, uh, it 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 pretty well uh, for all of us that he is now doing i'm doing my bsc in botany but i'm really excited for ma in development how can i connect myself with such a program and how will i be comfortable in either suggestion right see the thing is we have this artificial hierarchies in mind Okay. Yes, sir. Ah, I mean, it's, that is what is happening, and this, this is a hierarchy, hierarchy that you, not not that you have created, that the society has created, uh, right? People around you have created. Like people will ask, "Acha, apne B.Sc. kiya tha, apko to M.Sc. karna chahiye?" No, sir. I'm doing. This is my final year. No, no. Correct. No, no. I know that. But the society will. Uh, the question. The question is this: If you really like botany, you go and do M.Sc. in botany. Uh, uh, right. Yes. so right But, the development uh, program uh huh so actually uh, i didn't take myself in the fresher of family i took that no no that's fine that could be whatever reason we hope you you've done well you enjoy it you you enjoyed it what are the point i'm trying to make is your bsc botany is valuable for the development sector yes sir that's the point i'm trying to make so yesterday i was reading 
uh, uh, the annual report of it's not an annual report fortunately i i didn't have to read it is a some video summary of 22 years of work of an organization called foundation for ecological security fes they celebrated 22 years and i was i was just fortunate to meet uh, jagdish no is the is the owner sometime back in that video, if you look at it, it is a job for BSc Biology, BSc Botany people who, or BSc people who have done BSc Environmental Science of how do I preserve urban commons and rural commons. Yes, the, the, the course Ecology and Development or Ecology and Development, you will just sit and enjoy there. Okay? Yes, sir. So, I mean, this, not, this is not just for people who have done botany. I mean, if you look at renewable energy, you know, people look at renewable energy, right? It yes, is, sir. people think it's physics, right? It's, it's, it's kind of physics. Sorry, it's actually, some, it's some solar. So, wait a minute, listen to me, listen to me. But the way it works in, in the context of India, right? You think uh, renewable energy is physics, you need solar cell, you can get dhoop on it, you can electricity. Ban sakta hai. But let me tell you that renewable energy, that entire thing is, 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 is uh, policy related. It is uh, political. It is very industry related. I mean, the, it is it is farmer related. You are putting the solar cells on fertile land where you could have grown food. What a disaster! If you were an engineer working on, I mean, a, a, not an engineer, a technical person working on this area without understanding the societal needs, you will put the solar cell on the ground on a fertile land in the Indo-Gangetic basin. So whatever you studied is valuable. Uh, my colleagues like Nilopal and other will give you the development perspectives so that you come up with sustainable solutions. Aram se, soch samaj ke. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sahil, your question is, uh, uh, do you want to change your program? Uh, you can, no, no, in this, you don't have to reapply. You go log into the uh, application form you will see an option called race a query and mention that you want to change your program from LLM to MA in development, right? But remember you're a lawyer, you have two options. You have an option of doing a one year LLM in law or you do a two year MA in development. Lawyers do that. There are a lot of lawyers in MA development program, but that's the choice that you make by looking at the program structure. Yeah, spend some time, look at the one-year uh, LLM program, look at the two-year uh, MA development program, and then take a call which program uh, will, will uh, suit you first. LLM, as I told you, is to prepare social cost lawyers or social cost lawyering. And that's also a very powerful tool uh, for social issues. Uh, is there any other chat? Yeah, any, if, if I've not answered any, any chat messages, just ask me again because I'm, I'm reached the bottom of the list. Uh, sir, what's your, uh, Abhishek, what's the question? Uh, good evening, sir. I'm Abhishek from Delhi. Mm -hmm. I have done a BCA in 2014, and uh, after that, I have worked uh, in the industry as a analyst. Mm -hmm. So uh, my question is, uh, what are the uh, demands of the program so that uh, I'll be more uh, uh, equipped with the uh, program right now? <laughs> See, demands of the program quickly, you need to be extremely, extremely disciplined as a learner. Okay. Uh, why I'm saying this is, I'm not saying generally we are indisciplined. I didn't mean that. You need to have the discipline of reading first because you are here to read and come into the classroom. Okay. Sir. Uh, so, so uh, and, uh, and this I keep telling, especially people who have done BCA and science program or engineers. They are not into the habit of reading. Yes, sir. Because their brain is very, very formula wired. Or, or if you're a computer programmer, if this condition, do this, else do this. Yes, sir. It doesn't work like that. Social science doesn't work like that. You may have to look at, Achha, maybe this is the way to do this. There is another way to do this. How do I look, understand this through various lenses? You'll, you'll have to look at the, through the lens of sociology. You'll have to look at through the lens of political philosophy. Then you'll have to bring in Indian economy. So be ready to read a lot. So in case of preparation, because you're a BCA student and don't read from your in shots or, you know, what's that? Uh, daily hunt. 
<laughs> please to start the reading the center page of your newspaper, whichever newspaper, doesn't matter, left, right or center, but center page and do read it as opinion pieces only. Don't read it as facts unless, because even if it's a data, then look at which data it is from, from because the skill that you will need in the next uh, 20 years is critical numeracy skills, not critical thinking skills. So start reading. Tilakpal, what else? I don't know what to what advice to give for a BCA student. No, no, you you're right, Rajgopal. I think you know uh, academically the 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 course demands uh, critical thinking. Uh, that is to say that you know uh, you uh, you develop capacity to evaluate evidence and reach claims and conclusions, or or uh, you know settle debates uh, in your own mind and perhaps also try to you know intervene in other debates around you. So critical thinking is a major skill that that the course requires, and disposition perhaps to 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 uh, to link. You know you, what you are learning in one class with what you learn in another class. Uh, disposition to link what you learn in all classes here with what you learn outside of classes. Uh, so a, a very fertile way of asking questions, interrelating ideas, uh, you know, weighing up evidence against claims um, and, and uh, you know, capacity to also take some ideas to the field and see could it work? Does it work this way or does it work some other way? I think there isn't anything new that both of us are trying to tell you. Uh, it might sound new because, you know, social sciences or development work uh, may be a little less formulaic than uh, computer studies could be. But if you have those, you know, skills, Maybe you are a very sociable person. Maybe your communication skills are good. Maybe you are curious by nature. If these dispositions are there, then you will find the you will find the demand little easier to uh, to perhaps adapt to. Uh, if not, then you will have to learn it the hard way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So thank you. Yeah. So welcome to the world of social sciences, uh, Abhishek. <laughs> Thank it's you, sir. Very exciting journey. I mean, we need all. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm a big fan of sciences as well. But uh, the way the way the world is moving, the way the country is moving, uh, maybe we had solutions only using science or only looking through social sciences in the early 1950s or 60s or 70s. But now, clearly, we need an interdisciplinary or transdisciplinary approach to uh, solve problems of human beings. And that's yes. the direction that undergraduate programs are also changing. And the NEP clearly talks about revamping the BCA and the engineering curriculum of the country to teach them social sciences in a, in a systematic manner. Yes. Right. So interesting times ahead. So it looks like we come to the end of the discussion and we are in the local, we have been able to uh, hold on to 67 people listening to us and that's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. so, so, but if there is any last questions, we had thought only we will wrap it up by six o'clock. But let me bring back my slides one last time and see if I've missed something. Huh? Quickly, I'll just walk through the slides. There is there is one hand up, Rajgopal. Oh, really? Okay. What is that question? Anand. Anand? Go ahead. Anand go ahead. Go ahead. Good. Thank you, Nilapal. I completely missed that with me. I'll, I'll take a question, up, but meanwhile, I'll just bring the slides up so that if something I've missed, uh, that will be uh, there. You can see the slides, but I'm not going to read the slides. What's the question, Anand? Uh, namaste, sir. Namaste. Ah, sir, abhi jo jo essay wagera likna padta hai, sir. Ha ha. To ham bina type karke lik nahi sakte kya kagaz pe wagera. No, uh, 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 you will have enough time. You will have to type in into the uh, uh, computer. Nahi, sir, mujhe problem aaye the. Matlab problem aayengi, sir. Kaise wo type karne mein problem aayengi mujhe. Maine ek to typing bhi nahi hoyi. Matlab aisa ek kaise paper pe lik sakta hu, sir, main. No, you see, if agar aapko lag raha ki bahuti, matlab, I don't, I mean, you could send us an email that if you have some kind of a, you need support of a scribe for whatever reasons you are not able to type, uh, we will support. Okay. Uh, Rajagopal, uh, just want to make this quick point. Yeah. That even if someone uh, has a problem typing, uh, given that the test is on March 12th, uh, there's one month uh, for the person to practice typing. I mean, it's not uh, it's not really a difficult job, right? So I think I would suggest uh, 
uh, this particular uh, student candidate to practice for some time. It, it takes hardly a few days uh, before you get comfortable typing. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, but it, it's also about, I don't know whether they have access to a device to them. I don't know. That could be one of the reasons he's asking. Yeah, if it's able to practice it, then well and good, yeah. Okay, so I'll just go through. So Navanita's question, tomorrow you can, uh, the first session starts at 9.30, Navanita. And uh, there's a session in the afternoon also. We close at 4 o'clock. So if you come at 9.30, uh, I'll just put the, since you're asking that question, let me put the uh, social enterprise cell event uh, mailer schedule also here on the slide so that you can see this. Those who one want question, to come tomorrow, sir, please, please come for this. Thing. Yeah, what's the question? Uh, sir, uh, I mean, we can't do it. 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 We We know that very few people would have done development in the undergraduate program. Okay. So the question will be to understand why have we applied to this program? What is your interest? Yes, sir, I have a development to apply to this program. Yes, sir. I don't understand the work in the program. I don't understand the work in the program. I don't understand the work in the program. No, 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 no. It's not talking about children. See, it's talking about the basic question of development. I'll, I'll, see, I, why I'm choosing my words carefully is, there's a trained academic sitting in front of me and this, his name is uh, Professor Milotpal, right? See, the basic question of development, Anandal, is this. How do we give everybody in the country, irrespective of which family they are born, a life of respect and dignity? That is the question of development in India. Okay? You get access to education, health and transportation depending on which family you are born. That's the question we are asking in uh, the development group. Right? How do we give voice to the voiceless? Wo voiceless child bhi ho sakta hai, woman bhi ho sakta hai, dalit bhi ho sakta hai, adivasi bhi ho sakta hai, religious minority bhi ho sakta hai, just poor bhi ho sakta hai. Right? So, so, I'll stop here now, right? That's the, that's the question of development, right? It's not about a child development only. If you're interested in child development, MA education. Okay, I'm going to stop now because I'm going to go quickly. You can email me at email at outreach at the rate apu.edu.in. Sir, I want to request you, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to go to typing, sir. I want to go to writing, sir. It's not possible because it is not possible. Correct, because we, we do it with a with an external uh, our, our partner, and we know, I don't want to be promising something that is not possible. Because it is clearly not possible, Anandwal. Right? I'm sorry. And just going on to the next one, I think this we this we discussed. Uh, the exam test pattern is there on your uh, on on the on the on the website. I think we, there was not not many questions. Uh, no, no, nobody asked about student support much, but. Let me tell you that once you join us in Premji University, uh, there'll be enough hand-holding, uh, placements, uh, financial assistance, go to the website. Don't worry about finances, but what you should be worrying is uh, to make sure that this is the right program for you. Uh, that's about it. Placement also, nobody asked in that detail, but uh, I need to update my uh, deck now because I heard from my colleague Subrat that it, it is 150 this year uh, that organization uh, will be visiting the campus and some are already visited uh, and you can see some name of the organization that comes for placement and we also want our students to be social entrepreneurs in the long run uh, and and we're seeing good good indication of that also around uh, i think more than 30 of them have set up their own enterprises and two of them are by the way coming tomorrow that's why i said that you could uh, nabanita could come tomorrow and meet uh, Uma Maheshwari, who is running her own organization called Vimana, she manufactures nutrition bar. Or you could meet uh, Ram, who's an engineer. Ram is not coming. Ram and Rajila started Vidya Vidya in Chennai. Ram is an engineer by training, but decided to do MA education. And he also decided to do that. I will not work anywhere. I want to set up my own 
social enterprise, right? So with that, I think we're coming to the end. Uh, if you can come tomorrow, yeah, there are there are uh, there are ten exhibitors. I think how many are there? Oh, we made it twelve now. Okay, I don't know. Nasrul was saying ten, ten. But there are twelve exhibitors whom we could interact with, uh, ranging from some are very very established organizations. Or if you think you want to meet sociologist Dipankar Gupta, you're more than welcome for our public lecture series in Bangalore on Saturday evening. So the choice is yours. I did not put the open house here, but some of you are coming on Saturday to meet us. Uh, but I know uh, what I, what Milotpal and I, I mean, both of us are thinking is what differently, what different things would should we speak on Saturday, right? So uh, with that, uh, with your permission, I think we should uh, close this. Yeah. Sir, I just have one uh, last question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that? Sir, uh, I'm Samrit. Uh, the question is like, uh, in case of the uh, work experience, like if someone has worked with uh, children and someone has worked with uh, the mentally ill or the tribal populace, so which will be like, uh, which which would like uh, get more importance like for this um, program? That is what I'm asking, which... I don't. Know. No, no, no. Some bits, can you repeat your question? I sorry, yeah, I got slightly distracted. Uh, can you can you like, repeat? Sir, uh, I am asking the question. Uh, it's a open-ended. I think uh, it will be. Sir, you answered for all the people who are in this interview, which is like suppose someone has worked uh, in an NGO which works for uh, the, for children, and someone has worked for an NGO for tribals, or okay. someone has worked for the so which one will be given more preference or will some one or the other have a greater edge or is, is or will it greater, matter at all? Greater edge to join a Zimbridge University? Yeah, for the development study program. <laughs> you want to answer, I mean, we're just excited that you, you would have worked either in this or that, right? It's not that we're not going to uh, prioritize any of thing. Your experience of having worked in the sector is really, really valuable for us. Because there may be something for us to learn from you in the classroom. <laughs> Yeah, Milo there is no basis. There is no basis to this comparison. Both are equally important, and anyone who has worked in either one of them is is uh, you know uh, a person worth engaging with for us. Okay, sir. Okay. And sir, uh, can uh, you give? Uh, can you like help me connect with the alumni network, like to know yeah, more about the? Yeah, uh, in 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 today's world of social media. Uh, you just go to LinkedIn or anything, just ask, is there any Azim Premji University alumni here? 3,000 of them, not 3,000. Many would just pounce and give you. I mean, that's what I was telling. Uh, the, our alumni are our brand ambassadors. We, know, we don't need uh, Shah Rukh Khan or Alu Arju. Okay. Thank you. So, so there are many. We'll connect you. But if you want to write to the alumni office, you can write to them. But since many of you are asking about alumni, let me just post the wonderfully designed alumni page. Uh, I was going through that. And each time when I go to, go to the page, I find something new that my wonderful colleagues in the alumni office would have done there. So spend some time there. You can read stories about uh, what Satyendra Singh Lelahari is doing in Bastar. Bastar comes in the news for all uh, wrong reasons. But Satyendra is doing some wonderful work. He's going to be here tomorrow. So uh, with that, I think, Vinodpan, thank you very much. You've been very patiently uh, answering all the questions. I said we'll wrap up at 6, but uh, I, I also got thoda kya bolte uh, I also got very excited with the enthusiasm of the people who are joining us. So, so thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll just be on mute and my video will be off. If somebody wants to go through the chat messages and read and then take uh, copy the links, you know, we can do that. And I'll end it in the next five minutes. So thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Meeting. Thank you, everyone. All the best to each one of you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Kumar, sir. Kumar, sir.